Well, good morning. It's Palm Sunday and we celebrate together. I'm so glad that we get to be church family. Even though we're not in the same room, we are one in our love for the Lord and in our love for one another. So welcome. Um, we celebrate today Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem. We think about the reason that he came, which was to give his life on the cross as a sacrifice for us. That's a sad thing, but we celebrate today because of the reason that he came. The reason that he came to Jerusalem, the reason that he <clears throat> gave his life on the cross was love. His immense love for us drove him to that moment. And so today, just as the folks in the olden days celebrated by hailing him king, I hope as you worship at home that you will celebrate and hail Jesus as your personal king. Remember last time I asked the kids to make palm leaves, and so I hope you have those close by, and as we sing together, why not have a Palm Sunday parade in your own home? It's a tradition that we have in our church where the kids come and they parade around saying, Jesus is my king, Jesus is my Lord, and they wave their palm branches in exaltation and worship. So I invite you to do the same thing. Get your palm branches ready, and as we sing this first hymn, let this be our Palm Sunday parade. Just as we begin, I want to read to you the passage that we're celebrating. It's from Matthew chapter 21. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus said to his disciples, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you'll find a donkey in there and her colt beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them, and he'll send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them, and they brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat upon them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? And then the crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word, and may the Lord add his blessing to our worship this morning. It's so good to be together. Good morning again, and let's all worship our Lord, and let's sing, Crown Him with Many Crowns. Thank you. 
to you today on Palm Sunday. It feels very, very strange to not have a whole congregation and have our usual processional and <clears throat> see the children and all the people and all of our family here. We know that everyone's staying safe. We just ask that you be in homes where someone's alone or with family and let them know that we're two or three are gathered and this is the new age, I guess, but we are gathered in your name and we just are praising you and worshiping you and so thankful that you came to give us our salvation. Um, as this coronavirus keeps um, taking patients or making people sick, it seems to ebb and flow. We just ask that you keep us without worry, without fear, and to, to just give it all to you, God, and know that you've got this and that you're in control. Um, Sickness is not of you, but we know that you can heal people. We know that you can be there, and we know that you can comfort, and we just ask that you do that. We just ask that you give us comfort, and today as we praise your name, as it's Palm Sunday, we just know that um, what you did was the ultimate sacrifice. You gave us Jesus to take away our sins, and we just thank you and praise you for that. And we just praise your name, and we just ask that you be with us, whether we're lonely or tired or afraid, um, unable to see loved ones because of the restrictions. We just ask that you give us peace that only you can give and comfort. And we just praise your name that you gave us the greatest gift of all, your son. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> Pages here. <clears throat> Let's sing that towel. was free. 
nation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did spend at Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free. just noticed in this uh, last verse of this at Calvary, the song we just sang, it says, Oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to men. Now that plan that God made to send Jesus was a couple thousand years ago. He knew each one of us, what our needs were, why he was doing it, and he knew every one of us before we were even born. Do you think he didn't know about this coronavirus? <laughs> Even way back then? Even from time began, he knew this was going to be here. He knew this was going to be something we were going to be dealing with and having a hard time with. He promises never to give us anything that we can't handle. He promises to always be there for us, always love us, and take care of us. So if you're getting a little bit down, it's been a few weeks now. It's been kind of rough, I know. But God's therefore still. Next song we're going to sing is Jesus Paid It All. Start to tell you the number again. <laughs> Left the 